look at that. All right, everyone, so what I'm doing today is I've come down to this canal on the Gold Coast, and I'm gonna be doing a catch and cook for you guys. You guys seem to love my catch and cooks, so what I'm gonna be doing is trying to catch flathead, broom, pretty much anything that I can catch, and cooking them up for you. So what I've got, five inch Z-Man motor oil plastic right there, that's flathead candy, these flathead love it. So what I'm gonna be doing, I've got it reeled up to my Daiwa Aired 2000 model. It's got eight pound braids, 10 pound nylon on it. So what I'm gonna be doing, flicking the shallow flats just off this pontoon. Now off this pontoon, I've caught heaps of fish. Roughly 60 flathead have been caught off here, which is just crazy to think that 60 different flathead have been caught off this one pontoon. Now last time I was fishing here, I was casting in the shallows at night and I hooked something absolutely massive. Here's a short clip of that. Okay, so we've hooked up to a massive fish here and I'm hoping it's a meat along flathead. If it is, I'm gonna be so happy. You can see that, this is big. It took some big runs before. Oh, wait a minute. No, no way. Is it? It's a mangrove jack. It's like 50 centimeters. No, don't lose this fish. Oh my God, oh, this that's is not 50. Quick, I need to get it in the net. This will be my personal best mangrove jack. Please get in the net. Oh my God, oh my God. This is the best thing that's ever happened. So here I am not fishing for jacks, and I catch this. Oh my God. 60. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> don't get carried away. <laughs> I was fishing in this deep water, and look at this. Let me get a shot of that. That is my personal best mangrove jack on 10 pound line. <laughs> a 54 centimeter jack on 10 pound line. I'm the luckiest person on the Gold Coast. <laughs> I am seriously the luckiest angler 10 pound line on this red shad when I wasn't even fishing for them. It's the middle of winter, so they're not even like supposed to really bite that much. And there we go. We are gonna release this beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, so I was fishing with a um, four inch red shad in the swimmer Z, and this guy just took it in about, I'd say about 20 centimeters deep water, not even joking and he just pulled so much line. I thought it was a big flat and I was so stoked, but I'm 10 times happier that it's a mangrove jack. This is a fish I've been wanting to catch for so long. And when I'm not even targeting it, look what I catch, that giant fish right there. We got to get him back in the water soon. This is amazing. Oh, settle down, mate. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. That is amazing. So yeah, that was my biggest ever mangrove jack, which was just awesome. On soft plastics too, in the middle of winter, which was really cool. But hopefully this time, I'll be able to pick a maybe a 50 centimeter, 60 centimeter flathead up. Maybe a big brim that we can cook up for you. I haven't caught a flathead in so long, so hopefully we can catch a big one. Let's start fishing. Do the end. If plastics aren't working for these flathead, which flathead can be pretty picky at some times, what I like to do is get your cast net. This is an eight foot cast net right here. It's a really good one. I'm not the best at casting it, but what you want to do is get it, chuck it out just like that, let it sink down to the bottom. And mullet is a really good bait for flathead as well. Little potty mullet about the 10 centimeter mark. They work really good for flathead. Oh yeah. There we go, perfect size potty mullet right there. That'll be perfect flathead bait. So what I like to do, get a little hook, hook it right through the towel there. All right, so although mullet is really good bait for flathead, I'm gonna stick to fishing with that five inch soft plastic right there and let this little mullet go. Maybe we can catch him another time, use him as a bit of a different bait. But yeah, see you buddy. Now this is actually herring. Now they're another great flathead mangrove jack bait, all round bait really. You can see that. If we chuck that out, you'll almost definitely get a flathead. But I'm gonna keep using plastic, so I'll let these little guys go.
Oh, yep. Finally. Oh, he swallowed that plastic right down, eh? Take a look at that. I've got to get him in the net before he gets unhooked. Yep. There you go. I think he just reached 50 there. They have really sharp teeth. I was just flicking with this 5-inch motor oil Z-Man soft plastic right there. And as soon as I got it right near this jetty, this big flathead just came up and smashed it. The legal limit for these guys is 40 centimeters, and this guy's way over that. I haven't cooked a flathead in a long time, actually, since my last catch and cook. So I'm really excited to cook this one up for you. I'm going to do a bit of a measurement on it. I reckon it might just hit 50. You never know. Fingers bleeding from that, but all worth it. All right, so there to there, 49 centimeters. Take a look at that, one solid flathead right there. And yeah, that's gonna taste really nice when we cook it up. All right, so we just caught that flathead. What we're gonna do now is do a bit of brim fishing, try to catch a legal brim that we can cook up with that little flathead. So we got enough bread to fill four bakeries. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab some, put it on this little hook that I've got right here, and hopefully it'll produce a nice brim. So I normally just throw out a couple pieces of bread and when the brims start hitting, I'll put a piece on my hook, cast it out, and within a couple seconds, normally I hook up to a solid size brim. Ah. Oh yep, we're on. I thought he got off then. Oh, that could just be legal. Let's get a measurement on this guy. I'm pretty sure he might be just 25 centimeters, which is the legal limit. Now, legal limit, 25, so this guy is a legal brim, and we will cook him up with that flathead. That's so good. All right, so one nice brim, 26 centimeters, and just down here, we've got a nice flathead being 49 centimeters. That's gonna be really tasty. All right, so that is the 49 centimeter flathead that we caught before, and as you can see, they're a very strange looking fish. So they've got a flat body, flat head and everything, as they get their name, and these guys actually bury themselves in the sand, wait for little fish to come past, and then jump out and ambush them. And they taste really good. They're my second favorite fish to eat, second to whiting, actually. And what you need to do to fill up them is cut down here, cut underneath, cut there, rip the skin off, so it's pretty easy. I'll show you how to do it now. So find where the meat starts, get just in with your knife, and cut right down the backbone, not going through the full fillet, all the way to the end of the tail. Still waiting for my knife sponsorship, of course, so don't expect anything like MasterChef, as long as it does the job. Right down to the end of the tail, just like that. And then what you wanna do, Flip them over and do the same thing to the same side, just underneath. You can see that's where the meat starts, that line right there. Sometimes it can be easier if you put your knife up and just cut down like that. Always cut away from yourself. I learned in my last flathead fishing video that if you cut towards yourself, nothing good really comes from it. So yeah, just make another line down to the end of the fish, just like that. Next thing you do, make a cut down here around to the other side of the fish just under the fin like that there we go now this is the really satisfying part you grab the skin up here hold the flathead's mouth like this and there comes all the skin off like that put it there to the side you can chuck that in for burly later then what you want to do cut down here with your knife and you'll get a really good fillet off this really nice sized fish. All right, and there is a really big fillet off a 50 centimeter flathead. Now that's just all meat. There's a couple of bones in there, but we can cook them and pick them out after. We'll put them in the pan now and do the exact same thing to the other side. All right, so what we'll do with this, we're not wasting anything of the fish. We'll cut this up, chuck it in the crab pot. Maybe we can get a crab or something and cook that up later. And there are the two fillets that we got off that flathead. That's some nice fillets right there, and that's gonna taste really good after we cook them up. Fillet one, the big one, and fillet two, right there. That's so good. All right, so now we'll move on to the 26 centimeter brimbo that we caught before on some bread. Now, I haven't had as much experience filleting these. We've got an all right knife, so it should do the trick. What I like to do, start from just here, and start cutting down the backbone, just from up the top. Make a little cut just down here, all the way down to the tail, just like that. I like to make a cut down here, 
just through the skin, like that. Then turn your knife under here and start cutting down there. And then, basically, shave all the meat off under there. All right, so a lot of people think it's funny when I say fill it in my videos. <laughs> Here in Australia, we're taught to say fillet, not fillet. So, if you're wondering why I say that, hopefully that clears it up a bit. Beautiful fillet, as you can see right there. And what we're gonna do is just get right on that skin and cut that all the way down. And take a look at that. Well, you can see that I didn't actually miss any meat. It's just that the brim this size doesn't actually get much meat off them. But we'll still cook it up and it'll be maybe a bite-sized fillet. So this one's the fillet and that one's the fillet. And once again, what we're going to do, use that as crab pot bait. There's basically no meat left on that, which is good. And yeah, that, that's four beautiful fillets that we're going to show you how to cook up right now. Right, so the ingredients that we're gonna be cooking with today is we got some peanut oil right there to chuck in the pan. I don't even know why I grabbed this out, but it had my name written all over it, so it's a Miller Chill beer. That's gonna be really good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna crumb the fish in these chips and corn flakes. There was barely any corn flakes left over, so we'll probably crumb a couple fillets in that and a couple fillets in this, and then the fillets, of course. So, first up, we'll put the oil inside the pan. Then what you need to do, we got the chips here, and what you need to do is you need to crunch them right up so they get down to be like little crumbs and stick on the fish. As you can see, that'll be perfect. All right, so what we'll do, we'll drop one of each fillet in each bag, just like this. We'll do the flat at first, now crunch the top, and then basically just shake it up. That looks pretty good. And now we'll grab the other fillet of this. Perfect. That looks pretty good. That's all the fillets we got for today. All right, so what we need to do is make sure the oil's hot, then drop the first fillet in. We'll chuck the two brim fillets in first. Now the big old flathead fillets, last flathead fillet. We've got them all in, just like that. So we'll just add a bit of beer, creates an extra batter or something like that. All right, so what I did is I cooked it for five minutes on one side, flipped it over, and did the same to the other side. And they're definitely ready right now. So we're gonna take them out. They're falling apart, but that's all right. So you could put lemon, salt and pepper, or anything else on it, but I'm gonna eat it like this just to see how it tastes. So there's a bit of the flathead, one of my favorite fish, and we're gonna taste it right now. I have to say a while ago when I put a flathead in cornflake crumbs, it did taste better than this, but this is still a really nice tasting fish. Right, so the flathead, bone apple tea, but now I'm gonna taste the brim, see how that tastes. I can honestly not taste the difference between the flathead and the brim. I'm not sure if it's how I cooked it. They both taste the exact same, which is really good. Best tasting fish I've had in a while, actually. This flathead tastes really good. And it's awesome that I caught this flathead roughly about an hour ago and the brim probably about 30 minutes ago. Cooked them both up right on this pontoon. And the funny thing is tonight, I'm gonna to be doing a bit of eel fishing off this one pontoon. So hopefully there's a part two of this Gold Coast trip. I'm gonna be trying to catch some big pike eels. And now these pike eels, they're absolutely massive. So hopefully we can catch one, cook it up for you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna keep eating this brim and flathead. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. If you haven't already, make sure you go follow me on Instagram, my account, just Miller Wilson. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and when you do subscribe, make sure you turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload one of my videos. I'll be trying to get them out every Friday from now on, so make sure you stay tuned. See you on the next adventure. Till it. Till it. Till it. Till it. Till it.